I don't know where I'm going. Shaolin Temple. Wow. I'm already kind of pushing it as it is. Low bridge here. Wow. I'm all alone on this cliff. I'm really starting to feel it. At every step, it's pain. It's forever gonna be on my bucket list to conquer it. So a needy ride out to Songshan. Many different ways to get out there. Everyone told me, and I probably agree, that you know, the quickest and easiest way to do it is just to take a DD. About 200 RMB, not too bad. Sit back about an hour and a half. Hopefully uh, it'll be a smooth day trip. So I got my ticket, 80 UN to get in. I don't have a map, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Tour center had a map, there's one in English, it's very easy to read. And there aren't too many people here, I'm on a, here on a Saturday. It's a beautiful area, I'm surrounded in this valley by all these mountains. Now I have a confession to make, I am still nursing plantar fasciitis in my right foot. It's been that way for almost a year now, and it is getting better. These special shoes that I bought really do help. But because of that, I'm not going to hit this very hard. I'm going to do a little walking, but I'm not going to do major climbing. I'll climb some stairs to get to the top, hopefully, but I'm going to take the cable car up. You know, I really, really want to hike it, but I know my foot's not going to be the same at the end of today. I'm going to be in pain when all this is done. I'm already kind of pushing it as it is. For right now, I'm walking down the road, headed towards the Shaolin Temple. All right, the first stop is the Wushu Center. I have another thing to admit. Although I think martial arts are rather beautiful to watch, I can appreciate the history in it. I've never really been into it personally. Fighting is not my thing, never really has been. But I can appreciate those who train their whole lives to be as good as these guys are. At the Wushu, they have the show, but they have an awful lot of gift shops. It's a lot more commercial than I was anticipating. Not a bad thing. What I don't like is people yelling at you saying, hey, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. Look. I have a gift shop, great. If I see something I like, I'll buy it. But don't ruin the atmosphere by screaming, especially on the loudspeakers. I made it to Shaolin Temple, one of the most famous temples in the world and the birthplace of Zen Buddhism. Not too many people here, it's okay. A couple tour groups, you know. This is the famous Shaolin Temple. This is very lovely. You know, I've been to many, many temples in, in my time in China. It's quite a treat to be at this one. It definitely, it brings a smile to my face. Wow, it's something special. It really is, it's beautiful. It's supposed to be good luck to ride the turtles, I'm told. <laughs> and you continue up past the main hall and to the next hall. The painting and the intricacies of the woodwork, it's beautiful. Just a wonderful, friendly atmosphere here. Lots of kids running around, lots of family. Very interesting. It's time to head up the mountain now. So the Pagoda Forest is 14,000 square meters about. Almost 250 or so pagodas. The largest uh, pagoda forest of its kind, really. Very, very famous in China. Okay, you guys know me. I've been on a million cableways. I'm gonna do this one here. Go to the top of the Song, Song Mountain. And I only have a couple hours here. I have to get back into the city for the night. And I'm dealing with sunscreen in my eye. Excuse me. <laughs> it stings, man. The further up the mountain we go, it gets more and more green and lush and beautiful off-white rock faces that expose themselves out of the green canopy. This cable car kind of skims the side of a valley. It's peaceful too. In the cable car there's no noise. It's super quiet. This it goes up this valley and as you come around this uh, this ridge here, the wind really picks up. You can you can hear it, you can feel it. The car sways a little bit more. And it's a lot cooler too. So here at the top, it splits off into a couple areas. Head along the ridge towards a village. It's noticeably cooler out here too. And quite a view. This is a 3,000 meter long pathway along the side of this 
cliff here. For all you rock climbers out there, here you go. I think they call it, they call it a row of books. Some people call it swords. I think it's called Shutsue Cliff, if I said that correctly. Whole bridge here. Wow. And it's right off the cliff, guys. Oh, beautiful. What an insanely beautiful part of the world. Oh, I love walkabout. So kind of a low bridge. Cool in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you see here the trail goes off this way. Goes into that valley. And it's up this ridge. And around the bend. To a temple. And that's where we're trying to go. Okay, so these are the stairs that take you up. Straight up. It's a path. It's gonna be a climb. I'm earning my money, man. It's, it's quite a hike. It's just a, a hot summer day. At least there's a nice cool breeze. Yeah, it's getting more technical. All right. Loud, creaky bridge in the hands of engineers again. This is quite a hike. I can see the temple though. This is a lot of hard stone trail, a lot of steps on this rocky face. That plantar fasciitis is acting up. I'm really starting to feel it. I can see the temple ahead of me. There's still a little ways to go. I have a confession to make. This is a major fail. I see the temple, but it's not easy to get to. It's gonna go into the valley, up and down the mountain to get across to there. I'm all alone on this cliff. You see, incredible view up here. And I don't think I can go any further. My foot. It's gone. It's extremely painful. I've been sitting here on the side of this cliff for about the last 30 minutes. Took a couple more steps up the mountain and said I can't do it. At every step, it's pain. I took some ibuprofen. Not willing, I'll be able to get back down the mountain. I'm very, very upset with myself that I'm giving up. My, my foot is shaking. I can't hold any weight. I've gone to the doctor. I've done all the stretching. I've taken the meds. Yeah, foot's throbbing. A little bit further to go. I made it back to the giveaway. Oh my god, my, my legs are like jello. I'm still really upset. I made it. It's a beautiful mountain. There's so much to see and do in this country. I'm not gonna get to do it all my lifetime. There's no way. But considering this one failed me, it's forever gonna be on my bucket list to conquer it before I die.